Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to provide cath care and peri care to a female patient. So let's get started. So I've washed my hands and I've donned clean gloves. First I'll remove the catheter from its securement device. Now some guidelines may suggest doing cath care before perineal care, while others may suggest doing the opposite. Therefore, you always want to check your facility's protocol for the proper sequence. For this demonstration, I'll perform peri care first. So what I'm going to do is I want to start with the cleanest areas and work to the dirtiest areas. So we're going to start on those inner thighs and then we're going to go from top to bottom. And then another thing you want to remember is that whenever you are providing peri care with a patient who has a catheter, you don't want to be tugging and pulling on this catheter. And sometimes, you know, it's inevitable you're going to brush up against the catheter. That is okay as long as you're not tugging and pulling on it. So we have a washcloth that has soap and water on it. We are going to fold it in half and we're going to create those four leaves. So each side will wipe another side without contaminating. So we're going to warn the patient we're going to touch them and clean the inner thighs. So we're going to go from top to bottom and we're going to pull that leaf back going to the side closest to us, that thigh, top to bottom, pull that leaf back, going to the other side, top to bottom, pull that leaf back, go the other side, top to bottom, and we have washed that area, now we need to rinse. Now we have a new cloth with just water on it because we're going to rinse. So again, fold it in half, create your leaves, hold it here, here's your leaves, warn the patient you're going to be touching them, and you're going to rinse again where you started. So rinse from top to bottom that inner thigh, pull back, rinse that other inner thigh, top to bottom, pull back, top to bottom, and then you have your last leaf, top to bottom. Discard this and then get a dry towel. And then it's the same concept with the dry towel, where just, you can really just blot the area with your leaf, pull back, blot the area, pull back, blot the area, and then blot this area, and then discard. So now we have a brand new cloth with soap and water. We've four leafed it, so warn the patient you're going to be spreading the labia. We're concentrating on the labia majora, so we're going to the labia furthest away. We're going to go from top to bottom on that labia, pull that leaf back, go to the other labia, top to bottom, pull that back, Go the other side, top to bottom, pull that leaf back, top to bottom. Then discard and get a new rag. Now I have a new cloth with just water and we're going to rinse the areas we just cleaned. So warn the patient you're touching them. I'm going to go from top to bottom with that leaf, pull back, top to bottom, pull back, top to bottom, pull back, top to bottom. And now that area is rinsed, and so now we're going to dry. And then it's the same concept with the dry towel. From top to bottom, other side, top to bottom, top to bottom, and top to bottom, and discard that. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to clean labia minora and the urinary meatus. So I've got a clean cloth with soap and water on it and I've leafed it. We're going to start with the labia furthest away. So warn the patient that you're going to be spreading the labia minora. Now the thing here with this mannequin, the tissues are very stiff. In a real person, they are very easy to spread and you can really get in there. You can get around the urinary meatus and get each fold of the labia. Here, the mannequin does not want to cooperate. So you will get the idea. The big thing is what you want to do is you want to go from top to bottom, pull your leaf back, getting as close to that urinary meatus as you can, and those folds from top to bottom, pull that back, top to bottom, pull that back, and you have your last leaf, top to bottom. And again, making sure you're not putting any tension on this catheter line. Then we're going to rinse the same way with a new cloth with water. So again, warn the patient you're spreading the labia. We're going from top to bottom to rinse, pull our leaf back, top to bottom to rinse, pull our leaf back, top to bottom to rinse, pull our leaf back, top to bottom, pull our leaf back, and get discard this. 
So now we have a brand new towel, it's dry, and we're gonna blot those areas dry in that same exact sequence. So top to bottom, pull back, top to bottom, pull back. You really wanna make sure you get the areas dry because germs love to grow in wet places. So we don't want any water left behind. And then top to bottom, discard. Then gently turn the patient onto their side to provide care to their backside, making sure that you put no tension on that catheter. We got a new cloth that has soap and water on it and we're gonna fold it into our leaves. And we're gonna start on the cheek that's furthest away. And we're gonna go from front to back because we don't wanna go from back to front because we would spread germs. And then we're gonna go to the cheek that's closest to us, go from front to back, pull back a new leaf, so we're on our third leaf, and then now we're gonna go over the anus. So we're gonna go from front to back, cleaning that area, pull back that leaf on our last leaf, and front to back. Then we're gonna discard this and get a cloth with water. Now we're gonna rinse with our new cloth in the same motion. So front to back, front to back, front to back, front to back, discard and get a dry one. We have our dry cloth, and again, we're gonna go in the same sequence and pat it dry. So front to back, patting dry, front to back, patting dry. And then our last leaf, and discard this. After you've done that, just make sure your patient is okay on their side, and then quickly you want to doff your gloves and perform hand hygiene and don a new pair. Then once you have your new clean gloves on, you're gonna assist the patient back into a line position, make them comfortable, and then you're going to perform calf care. The reason you wanna clean the catheter is because this gets germs on it. And as germs get on the catheter, they can ascend, migrate up into the bladder and cause a cauti, which is a urinary tract infection. We don't want that for our patient. So first what we're gonna do is we're going to get a washcloth with soap and water on it and fold it in half create your leaves. Very first thing we, what we wanna do is we wanna tell the patient we're gonna be spreading labia. Specifically, we're gonna be spreading the labia minora because we're going to clean this catheter line. And what we wanna clean first is the first two inches where that catheter is going into the urinary meatus, so at that medial junction. And we're gonna be careful not to put tension on the line, so we wanna clean that first. So we've warned the patient we're gonna spread the labia. We're going to take the first leaf and we're going to go in a circular motion like so. Then we're going to pull back this leaf and we're going to just repeat that again, cleaning those first two inches around that area. Now we're gonna pull back and we're gonna go with our third leaf. But this time what we're gonna do is we're going to hold this catheter line about right here and we're gonna go down in a circular motion and clean the rest of this tubing all the way to the bifurcation. So we're holding it steady so we're not putting tension on it and we're just going down that line all the way to the bifurcation. Then we're going to pull back that leaf on our fourth leaf and we're going to repeat this again. We're applying soap and water to all of this. And now what we're gonna do is discard this, get a new cloth, and rinse. Now we have a new cloth with just water on it. Again, we're going to fold it in half, creating those four leaves. And so now we're gonna rinse those same places that we clean with the soap and water. So again, warn the patient that you're going to be spreading the labia. We're going to go in there. We're rinsing the first one to two inches of that catheter line at that medial junction. So rinse here. Then we're going to pull back to our second leaf and just repeat that. Then we're on our third leaf, and we're going to hold this here so we're not putting tension on the line. We're gonna just go down and rinse that line all the way to the bifurcation. And then we're going to pull back for our last leaf, hold again, and then rinse all the way down to the bifurcation. Then we're gonna discard this and get a dry cloth. Now we have a dry cloth. Again, we are just going to fold that exactly like how we did before. We created our four leaves and we're gonna go and dry in the same way that we washed and rinsed. So again, we're in the patient spreading the labia. We're going to dry those first two inches, pull back that leaf, do our second leaf. Then we are gonna proceed with drying the line. So we are going to hold that part 
and just go down that catheter all the way to the bifurcation. Do your last leaf all the way down to the bifurcation and then discard. Now let's doff our gloves, perform hand hygiene and place the Foley catheter back into its securement device. And before you place the catheter back in its securement device, assess the device. Make sure it's clean and it's still working and that it doesn't need to be replaced with a new one. And check the date of when the last securement device was placed onto the skin. With these stat lock devices, you usually want to replace them every seven days, whatever your facility's protocol is. 